Aurora here. So today we have a special guest to do this video with me, my cousin Leah. Hi, and I love horses and horse stuff, so I had to join this. She's a fellow equestrian. But so what we're gonna be doing, as you can tell by the title, we are gonna be showing you what is in my tack box. Yep. So I have what I used yesterday and I forgot to take it out of the bag, so let's just throw it out of there and we'll do that. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so now let's just <clears throat> show you what I have. Let's scoot this to the front. So first I'm just gonna show you something really easy. My helmet. I couldn't tell you what brand it is because I don't know. Now there's a brush. It has um blue baby blue bristles if you can see. And then she colored it. It says yes, pale. I paint pal. Pal, not pale. So this means horse tracks. This is just sun, obviously. This means fast. This I just want to draw arrows. And then this means happy. And I just drew arrows on the side too, so it's really cute. Okay, so now, like I showed you yesterday, I have, like, this little plastic curry cone kind of thing. And, like I said, in yes I showed you this in yesterday's video when I was a grooming pal. There's a face brush. It, it's, like, a wooden thing, so she could paint it, but you wouldn't want to because it has a handle. And then also, it's not just a face brush. It's also a soft bristle brush. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh. And then I got this really cute horse, baby, baby, baby blue colored hoof pick. And I was really excited because we have one up in the tack shop, but like it doesn't have a brush, and I actually really wanted a brush, so I'm very happy about that. We have this little horse thing. You, <laughs> she doesn't really like it. It's like a whole joke. Show them this compared and then to this. This, this. this is what I actually use. Yeah, that's a normal one. But this is so cute and tiny. Yeah, I'm only going to use it if like, I need to. Like if I'm, I'm washing with her, but then I'll just steal my brother's brush. Ever. I mean, sponge or whatever. And then I also have this like little gel curry comb. And then on the back, it has little massagers. That is so cool. The one that I have is Ted. He's all poor because he only has a green one. It doesn't have a massager. Oh, P.S. I love, um, my grandpa has a horse um ted and i like love it so i do everything with it i don't know why because he's lame and old and he's uh, not old he's, he's just not lame old. all he's the time like, really really young yeah and, he, he's, like and a, he's like a halflinger so he's yeah. lame all the time and i'm like well i love it yeah so let's go okay rubber bands they're braiding bands um a 50 500 500 whatever 500 pieces and then also the, along with the brush, I have soap. And yeah, I actually really like it. It's 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 metallic-y. And I, I, I don't know, but it was the cheapest one I could find. And, when I, and, I, and, I, and I, I actually like it too, so it's okay. Sweat scrape. Red sweat scrape. Love it. Oh, Oops, because geez. I read on Pinterest that like if you just let your horse out in the pasture with it all wet, then necessarily it'll once overheat. you think about it too, yeah, then it'll overheat because the water will get hot. So really, you're cooling your horse down, but then at the same time, if you let it back out in the into the pasture, then you're just you're getting it all hot yeah, again. You're overheating it. I like you're heating it more than that. it's supposed to. It's like, but it's funny because whenever we wash him, we do this we use the sweat scrape sorry i couldn't think of it but and then we curry comb to make it look natural i have a question why is it called sweat scrape because it's scraping off the water you it. you could scrape off sweat but most people just use it for water okay whatever um i have this thing of horse treats they're homemade horse treats molasses blah 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 they look like this sorry for the um container but we left our really good container up at the tack shop so, so yeah. sorry but and then i'm just going to show you what's the rest in here it's like this little thing i'm only going to use this after i use the kind of um mane and tail brush that i like but this is not the kind and it's up at the tack shop so i'm not going to use that yeah that would be like this is only before i braid yeah, his hair before you braid it it's like a braiding brush i have yeah, one of those and then I also have paints from when I tried to paint, well not tried, but from when it. I painted Pal, I'll insert pictures. And then 
one. So yeah, that's that. And then I also ha have this homemade halter, rope halter that I made, pal. I just ordered some rope on Amazon. And then I found a YouTube video and copied it all into my notes. And then did some hot gluing just to make sure it stays. And yeah, I actually really like it. It's a little big on him, but that's okay. Okay, here is, it's just a rope halter with a lead, lead connected to it. Fun fact, um, that actually came with Pal for free when we got him. They should give you a rather regular halter. I like regular halters. I know. I I need I need to get a regular halter. Oh, fun fact! Another kind of fun fact. I really want to make Pat a Christmas halter, but um, I we never. Have the I never. You want us to yeah, show you? Yeah, but I never ended up getting the green halter to do it. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But yeah, I just I'm like just gonna put bows? a bunch of bows all over it. We're not I gonna figured, use all of them. But I figured that's gonna be super cute. So yeah, but I'll see you guys after I put everything away. So yeah. One last thing. Okay. This this little she backpack. She hates it. I do. But guess what? You it's in her tack shop. So <laughs> just just drops it in. But yeah, so I'll see you guys. Bye. We're back with the better lighting. But so yeah, thank you guys. Love you guys. <laughs> and like, I'm gonna do daily videos from now on because I really enjoy this and I love you guys. But yeah, so. But yeah, and we never decided on a fan base name. So go comment on yesterday's video what you want the fan base name to be. I think Detoners is good. Dutners or Dutnators. <laughs> peep, peep, my brother. But so Dutners, Dutners, Dutnators or Rainers, because my middle name is Rain. What's up, Pete? I'm famous now. Ha ha. He's not famous. <laughs> but yeah, love you guys. Thank you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Why, why are you saying still like that, Leah?